right. It's another day. It's another Your Daily Scrum. Professional Scrum trainers Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller are coming at you every day with a hopefully a nugget of wisdom about Scrum so that you can possibly do Scrum a little bit better today, get some improvement, release some things tomorrow. At least we hope we're helping. Uh, a little bit about us. We co-wrote a book, Fixing Your Scrum. There it is. Check it out in the description. We teach a lot of classes. Read the description as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get to the helping. Todd, how does a scrum team evolve the definition of done? Good question from our comment section. Like and subscribe. Leave a question below. Todd, you know, real quick, did you know 40% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed? That's crazy. That's crazy. Hit the like and subscribe. Leave Ding. comments. We answer your questions. It's great. Mm -hmm. Now to this question. Evolving the definition of done. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Well, let's uh, let's first state that uh, Scrum requires uh, potentially releasable. So yep. it requires that your definition of done, your what you're saying is your level of completedness when you say you're done, is that your increment is in a potentially releasable state, right? Um, so now we know that a lot of the people that may be watching this have a team that are not there yet. That are that that their definition of done can't live up to what Scrum requires, but we need to work to get there, and it's a Scrum master's job to continue to surface this. Right? There's a particular event that that Scrum has that I think is a really great place to inspect and adapt the definition of done. Yeah, I I think the uh, the sprint retrospective is mm -hmm. uh, is an awesome place. In fact, I think it's in the Scrum guide. No, it's in the Scrum Guide. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think this is a great time to continually inspect and adapt quality in our definition of done. Mm -hmm. And so when you say that the Scrum Master you know, brings this to light, creates transparency around our ability to get to potentially releasable, mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of this is done during the Sprint Retro. Um, and we evolve the definition of done by trying to make it more strict over time as we get mm -hmm. better at our craft, as we learn how to work better together, as we get a better understanding of our product and of our domain. Over time, that evolves into hopefully higher quality, a more strict definition of done. But hopefully, we're also learning to use this definition of done to catch potential issues sooner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? We're actually using it to, to bring transparency to potential problems, uh, almost as a reduction of risk. Right. And so I see the evolution of a definition of done, not just an increase of quality, but also a, a means to decrease risk. And we do that over time. We do it iteratively. We do it incrementally. Um, but it is up to a scrum master to keep surfacing that to make sure it is front front of mind and and continually being looked at. Yeah. Uh, and and let's let's also keep in mind that by stricken the definition of done, it changes the way a team works. Right, and so I, I think that's really important to remember and bring as an input into your sprint planning. Right, if you change the definition of done in a retrospective, that changes the way the team works, and so that could lessen the capacity of a team for the next sprint, which is perfectly fine. Right, um, uh, but I think that we need to we need to be cognizant of that. So that's just another consideration as I think as as the team evolves the definition of done, and so I think for me, like one of the big things I think of as a developer is if we change the definition of done outside the bounds of a sprint retrospective, which I, which I, Scrum doesn't say you can't, I think that could have some weird ramifications though. Like we planned work one way and now we're strickening what we're saying means done. And that could really kind of change the landscape of things. That's, that's okay. It might be fine in the context of your situation. Maybe you just uh, maybe you just uh, finished building your continuous deployment pipeline, right? And you want to go a stage up and now it works. Now we're saying from here on everything we do, we're going to add this to our definition of done. Now we'll consider it next sprint. That's great. Um, but I think just being cognizant of the fact that the definition of done changes the way a team works um, uh, and changes the amount of work potentially per PBI is, is important to remember. Yeah, and I think surfacing that during the sprint review with your stakeholders is really important. Mm -hmm. I think it's great to show your stakeholders what done means and how during our last, you know, previous sprints retro, uh, hey, we we raised the bar a bit. And this mm -hmm. is why you're going to see a drop in velocity or a change in throughput or a slight increase in cycle time or whatever you're using to just 
I think transparency about that is awesome, especially when the stakeholders realize they got a there's a trade off being made here. Yeah. We're we're indexing on quality. We're indexing on releasable, and I think that makes a lot of those discussions a lot simpler. Yeah, love it. I like this right. question. Great. Thanks for throwing it out there in the comments. Great question from the comments. You can ask a question in the comments too. We know a lot of you are watching. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a question. You know, check out the socials. Like and subscribe. You got to subscribe. Share the shows. Forty percent of you out there not subscribed. Let's fix that. Um, check out the socials, a lot of stuff going on, uh, especially on Twitter and LinkedIn, a little bit on Facebook. We're still trying to figure out Instagram. We're kind of old. We're trying to get there. Um, look, some videos just popped up. These are some other YouTube uh, videos that we've got, some other Your Daily Scrums. Maybe it's some fixing your agile metrics. We think those could be helpful too. Uh, let us know in the comments what could be helpful, what do you, what you want to see next, and maybe, just maybe, a future video will be made just for your question. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forth, do some awesome things, fix your scrum, get some good results. We'll check in with you tomorrow.